Good evening, everybody. I'm Rich, and welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you can all join me tonight. It is 8 o'clock on Tuesday. It is April 6th, and we are about to play some Old School Magic. Three rounds of Old School Magic with the Northern Paladins as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. Each and every Tuesday night, you can join me here on stream, 8 o'clock Eastern, three rounds of Old School Magic. So please do not forget to follow and uh, turn on those notifications so that you know when I go live. If you haven't already, please make sure you follow friend of the pro program, Entrox. Um, his link is in the chat right now. And uh, he's a good friend of the stream. And uh, he is also streaming live tonight for the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. Uh, you can also watch both of us if you use multi-twitch or put us both in separate windows or separate um, separate uh, um, tabs. Legion Brian Horton, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. So again, this is my regularly scheduled stream coming up tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. I'll be playing another round of Paper Magic Mirage Block Constructed here on stream. It is uh, round number four. We've been getting our uh, rounds once a week, and uh, that should be some uh, a good match in t coming up tomorrow. Also, uh, for uh, the Seven Point Singleton uh, Zero Points League, on uh, Thursday at noon Eastern, that's 6 p.m. Central European time, I will be playing once uh, again. So we are going to uh, let our opponent in. We are playing against Duncan. Hey, Duncan, how's it? Hey. Oh, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to be back. You know, I, have, I haven't played Paladins in, in weeks, and my reward is getting my butt kicked by you. Well, I mean, that, that's good. That's good. So, I mean, Unless uh, you're... My only hope is that you're on a 4th edition starter tonight. Okay. Um, well, I'm not on a 4th edition starter, uh, but I am on a spicy brew, not on a, a spiky deck. So, who knows? All right. All right. So, we, now we've got uh, your name up there in the chat, or uh, on the stream, so people know who you are. I hope my internet connection is good enough. Uh, I might have to move out a widescreen or something if it gets too good. I think it, okay. it should be fine. It should All be right. fine. I mean, we'll, we'll play it by ear, right? Yeah. How are you? So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm going to widen your screen a little bit so that uh, we can uh, see a little bit more of it on the stream. And especially that pretty sweet Kurt Ape playmat that you're running. <laughs> it's my intimidation advantage, you know. Yeah. It's the only, it's my only advantage in this game. <laughs> so, yeah. So, for those not aware, that's Ken Meyer Jr., right? Yeah, I got it off his website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you go to Ken Meyer Jr.'s website, he's got some really, really cool stuff. He's got uh, play mats. He's got artwork there. He's got some really sweet proxies that, that uh, you can get for a buck a piece. All kinds of cool things there. So definitely support the artists who play um, and, or who were part of the uh, old school community. Uh, Legion Brian Horton. Hello. Good, sir. I appreciate you joining, man. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. So... <clears throat> Yeah, his website is cool. Did you mention the proxies? They have uh, he has great, great proxies. Yeah, he's got some really, really cool proxies. I uh, oh, I probably have some within arm's reach. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like uh, ancestral recall and dual lands and, and things like that. Uh, obviously, the art is different. It is his take on things, and it is so that they would not get confused with the originals. Uh, um, he didn't want to make counterfeits. Uh, but uh, he wanted to make a product that was 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 pretty decent, so that's what yeah. we did. And uh, um, you know, it, it's pretty cool that uh, that he would do that for the community. Um, he's got a lot of things on there. A uh, bunch of the restricted cards, uh, the dual lands especially, and then he's got some other things as well that aren't uh, old school. But he's got a lot of stuff up there, and uh, mm -hmm. it's really hard to find like good boxies. You know, non-counterfeit boxies. Yes. Um, so he's doing a he's doing a service. All right. So All right. I'll put my uh, link to Discord in the chat. Um, if you want to join my Discord, you will see my deck lists early. 
Uh, and then uh, we talk about uh, stream things and uh, we talk about upcoming things that may or may not be magic related that might be happening. So um, why don't you go ahead and put two on top? Okay, uh, same for you. Okay. And uh, do you want to use even or odd? I'll call it odd. All right. It's odd. It's a one. Woo! I'll go first. Okay. Sounds good. Good luck. You too. Uh, sure. I'll try this. Yeah. Uh, forest. Deep shadow, pass. All right. I will draw. And I will play an island and say go. Forest. Um, I'm going to ice storm the island. Okay. So you 19. are at 19. All set? Yeah. Hmm, island. Go ahead. Uh, forest. <clears throat> uh, play Lanamore Elves? Okay. Uh, actually, I'll attack you for one. Take it, 19. And I'll play a scavenger folk. Okay. And I'll pass. Sorry about the plane overhead. No. Go ahead. You're fine. I didn't hear it. Draw. Uh, volcanic Island. Time walk. Nice. One tap. Draw. Hmm. Island. Soul ring. I'm going to disintegrate. Uh, What's his name? The one that kills artifacts. Well, yeah. Yep. For two, yeah, he's, he's exiled. Woo! He's gone. Yep. yep. And I will say go. No reanimating him. Mm -hmm. Swing for two. I'll take two and I'll like it. I'm at 17. Um, and I'll play Chaos Orb. Okay. Um, <sighs> Why did you destroy my scavenger flow? That's a question. I will uh I will go ahead and uh activate the orb. Okay. I'll uh flip on the forest. Oh what are you using? What what are you what of mine are you doing? <laughs> you said Sorry, I'm activating the orb. I'm gonna choose the soul ring. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because you're Sorry. flipping on your forest. Like, wait a minute, you're not destroying your own forest, are you? Okay. <laughs> Go right ahead. Yeah, that's very tricky. Very mm -hmm. tricky. All, All right. right. Woo! Nice job. Okay. Let's hope that's that's the that's the one that wins me the game. I'll pass. Okay. One tap. I will draw. A mountain. 
Icy. Damn it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. All right. Untap. Draw. Uh, swing for two. I will take it. I'm at 15. And I'll pass. And I have three cards. How many do you have? I have three. Okay. Untap. Draw. Play an island, and I will say go. That? During your draw step, yeah. after you've drawn your card, I'm going to tap your land or else. Okay. Take it. No. 14. And I'll pass. One tap. Draw. <coughs> Volcanic Island. Mana Flare. Two red. Yeah. Power surge. Nice. <laughs> Two red. Power surge. Sick. And I will pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Untap. So you take six. Oh, did I have a bunch of lands on tap? You have three lands on tap, so you take six. All right, so I go to 13, 13 on my up. Yep. Yeah, it looks back to see how many lands you had untapped before uh, at the beginning of the turn, and then you take uh, one damage for each one. And I've got two power surges, so you had three untapped lands, so you take three and three, so you take six. I'm at, thir I'm at 13 then, right? Yep. Right. LeBrooks, yes, I did change the way the stream looks. I hope you like it. You have no cards in hand? I have no cards in hand. You're a madman. I am. You're an absolute madman. All right, I'll draw. Um, let's... Uh, go to 12. Eight mana. I have eight mana. Yeah. All right, let's uh, hurricane for seven. All right, so you're at five and I'm at seven. Yep. And I'll pass. Uh, end step. I will use my icy to tap a, a forest. Okay. All right, um, and I'll burn for one. I'm at six. All right. Untap. Draw. Go ahead. All right, untap. Um, I will... Uh, swing with these two. Okay. I have four. I will play Giant Growth, targeting the okay. elf. No, that's fine. All right. Never go with blue. Yep. Oh, no. Wow, that is some spice, dude. Yeah. Yep, I just needed to draw a spell there, not a land. But I drew was, lots of land, if you didn't notice. <laughs> you had a lot of land, that was, and that did not work out well. You, you uh, flooded the guard. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. I was actually just 
I, I literally today, I kid you not, just got power surges in the mail. Nice. Because it seems like such a cool, you're going a different direction than I was thinking with it, but it seems like it's a pretty cool and versatile card, mm -hmm. like in this week. <clears throat> yeah, drew lots of lands. It didn't really do much. I mean, I put, I did stuff. Like, I put stuff on the table, and yeah, yeah. you know, I, I did stuff. But um, yeah, you you affected the board state, right. but uh, yeah, just. The payoff wasn't there. No, definitely not. Like I said, I drew, I drew a lot of lands, which was okay to a point, but uh, not okay after another point. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, that seems. Alright. I have clearly relevant sideboard cards against you, which is refreshing. So are you playing in the Neos League? No. No, I play in Seven Point Singleton, and I'm playing in a Mirage Black League. Um, that's oh yeah, that's, that's uh, so cool. a bit Is too much, a bit too much uh, uh, to be playing in that too. So right. All right, I'm getting there. You sideboarded much more decisively than I did. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh yeah, baby, I am bringing out some earthquakes on your own. It's... <laughs> well, see, the funny thing is, if that was a, a fireball instead of a disintegrate, yeah, I, I could have taken out all three game. of your creatures. Very different game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Considering what I suspect you have in that deck, I feel pretty fortunate to have taken the first game. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, two in the middle, two on top's one. Um, you can go one on top. Uh, one. All right, and I will play first. Good luck, sir. Good luck. I will keep. Nope, can't do it. Ah. You have to draw. You really got to draw at least one land in this format. I mean, that's normally a good thing. I don't know if you do in vintage. <clears throat> um, well, I'm getting I'm getting stomped in the Neos League this month. It is <laughs> pretty, pretty excruciating. It's pretty. It's like when you go. So I'm zero and five right now. Oh jeez! And I like I've had a good run in Neos. What, in the last few you're owing five on the sixth of the month. <laughs> I like to get my matches out of the way fast. <laughs> Winning or losing, I like to get my boot group stages over fast. Yeah, um, yeah, but, yeah uh, no, I, I know there's there's problems in in all the leagues where people will procrastinate and wait until the last minute or, or whatnot, yeah. and it's it, it's frustrating. Um, it happens. Yeah. It doesn't matter which league it is, and um, yeah. it's just Magic players in general are procrastinators. I mean, I would say not that everyone is, but as a group, as a whole, yeah. we are. So yeah, our personalities are. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can put one on top. So. Uh, yeah, I just harass my opponents until they give in. I'm right. Like, I you're ready well, to, because of the fact that I stream mine. You know, I try try to to space it out so i, I have uh, seven opponents so i did yeah. three last week i want to do two this week i've only got one scheduled but uh, then i want to do two next week and that'll be three weeks you know get them all done get them all on stream and yeah. should be good yeah no that seems good mm -hmm. um that seems fair i mean i just I, yeah it's just like being clear about your schedule i think is what's important yeah um 
I will keep. I will keep this. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay. Ready. Um, Island Soul Ring. Go ahead. Uh, forest elves pass. Untap. Draw. Volcanic islands. Um, blue, blue, two colorless. I'm going to put two psychic venoms on your forest. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. And okay. uh, you can go. So you can tap it if you want, but you're taking four. <laughs> Jeez. That's pretty oppressive. All right. I'm tap. Three cards left. Um, play a forest. Ooh, I really don't want to tap that now. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Take, but take four and ice storm your own land. <laughs> That's a feel bad right there. Mm -hmm. That's a feel bad. Um, but you know what? I am gonna take four. Okay. And Put I'm going 16. to ice storm your bulk. Okay. And I'll pass. All right. Untap. Draw. Uh, ancestral myself. Nice. One. Two, three. I will play an island and a candelabra of Thomas. Okay. Yep. And you can go. Scavenger folk, and I'll swing in. Uh, play a, um, I'll play an Elves of Deep Shadow, and I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Um, Island. Brain Geyser for three. And you can go. Nice. I'm going to blow for uh, soaring. Okay. Um, and then I'll play I'll play an Elves of Deep Shadow okay and I will um, I'm gonna attack yet right attack attack for one yeah no block for one All right 19 uh, and then I'll pass. I don't want to tap that forest. Okay. Untap. Draw. Seven cards. Um, island. Chaos Orb. Okay. Activate the Chaos Orb. Yeah. 
We're going to use my Candelabra as your forest without enchantments on it. Okay. Wow, that was terrible. Oh. And you can go. All right, I'm tapped. That was a doink. Yeah, that one really doinked off of there. That was an awkward uh, bounce. Um, I mean, you do another forest, so I guess it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I'm not hurting for mana now that I drew that. Um, <laughs> Alright. I will attack you for three. Sixteen. And I'll play Elvish Archers. Okay. And I'll pass. And you have how many cards? Two. All right, I'm at five cards. Untap. Draw six cards. And I will say go. Right, tap. No blocks, just five. Okay. I'm at 11. 11. Uh, play Llanowar Elves. Okay. I'll play Scrib Sprites. Okay. And I'll pass. Draw. Seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lotus. Crack Lotus for red. Um, <clears throat> I will, let's see, I've got three red, so I'm going to use two of the red, so I've got one red floating. Um, I'm going to Earthquake for one, two, one, two, three, Earthquake for four. Okay. Yep. I'm going to 12. And I'm at seven. Yep. And then, uh, red. And uh, blue to fireball the script sprites for one. <coughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> yep. And you can go. All right, you're. That was pretty sick. Um, Four cards in hand. I'm at seven. You're at twelve. Uh, all right. Nice play. One tap. One draw. Um, you are at stop. I'm at seven. You're at twelve. Cavender Fault. Sure. And I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Mountain. Mana Flare. Yep. Uh, four mana. Use this to untap these four lands. Yep. You have how many cards? I have one. One. Um,
Go ahead. Three cards. Three cards? Yep. Alright, one tap. No. Oh. Oh. Chaos Orb. Uh, you got two floating. Whoa! I have, that's too much mana. Got, got it. it? Okay. Play Chaos Orb. Okay. Um, uh, oh, wait. Hmm. Jesus. Can I take that back? I'm sorry. I forgot that I had all this mana. Go ahead. All right. Sorry. It's sloppy, sloppy. Um... I gotta try Tsunami. Jesus. Yeah. Sorry, Rich. Don't be sorry. Um, and I'll burn for one. I'll Tsuna attack you for one. Tsunami costs four, right? Yeah. Oh, oh you're right. Sorry, I don't burn burning. For yeah, you shouldn't be burning at all. You got you yeah. paid four mana. Yeah. Okay. Attack for uh, one. Yeah. On a six. And I'll pass. Cards in hand. Got one. Okay. Untap. Draw. Two mana. Disintegrate on your creature. You got him. He's exiled, and you can go. Spitting slug. Okay. What are you doing with the rest of the mana? Oh shit! It all taps for two. Um, I'll. Play oh, I can't even activate his ability. Hmm. I can't no. even activate his ability. Yeah, his ability is a triggered ability. You can play the cast orb that's in your hand. Well, I only have one floating now. Spitting slug costs three, correct? Oh, Jesus. You've got three floating. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Face spitting slug. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're not taking the four. No. All right, sorry. you're at 12. Okay. All right. Burn for one. Okay. You're at yes. Okay, so his power and toughness is what? Two, four. Okay. Untap. Draw. Uh, two red power surge. Nice. And go ahead. You take one on your upkeep. Yeah. Draw. Uh, Swing for two. I'm at four. Uh, and 
there's still a mana flare in play. I know, I got it. <laughs> I'll <remember> now. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the reminder, though. Yeah. Um... I'll tap for two. Yep. I'll play Chaos Orb. Um, I'll activate the orb. Um, and I'll choose a. Uh, I'll choose Mana Flare. Okay. I'll flip on the slug. Nice hit. Thank you. And I have one floating, right? Yep. Uh, I'll burn for one. Okay. Put you to nine. And then you, I got you at six, right? I'm at four because you took four two now. last oh, time. After, right? after the hit, yeah. And then I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Um. I'm going to use the Candelabra to untap one of your forests. Nice. And uh, you can go. Take two on your upkeep. Take two. Maybe What's I this? should have uh, destroyed the Power Surge. I wasn't sure what to do. Um, I'll draw. Uh, swing for two. No blocks. All right. Um, Pump spell or a hurricane? No. I'm at two. But I'm going to go ahead and activate the slug twice. Just to get that out of the way. Uh, and I'll pass. Hang on one second. Uh, whenever spitting slug blocks or becomes blocked, it so you cannot activate the ability. Oh, what? Yep, it's a triggered ability. And it's not it's not being blocked and it's not becoming... Yeah. So, oh, well, that's, they so. totally errated the... Yeah, yeah. It says, oh. Whenever spitting slug blocks or becomes blocked, you may pay one and a green. Um, if you do, um, then yep. you know blah 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 blah. But yeah, yeah. regardless, regardless, you would only be able to activate it once. Um, but so, uh, so the trigger the, never happened. So you, you can't well, pay for a trigger that never happened. Right. So I could have activated it when I attacked. No, it was never blocked, or be and then it never became blocked. Oh my god, wow, they changed that so much from the original printing. Mm -hmm. um, lame, so you but need to, you, So okay. you can either burn four or don't do anything. <laughs> Either untap. Alright. So I'll just um, pass then, I guess. Okay, untap. Draw. Do you beat me? Hmm? Power search. Okay. Go ahead. My turn? Yeah. I take six. I got a one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, attack for two? Yep, yeah, that's game. Wow. Oh my god, that was so close. Not close enough. Um, I, I mean, I'm running a bunch of counter spells. You wouldn't think that I was with how infrequently I drew down. I was convinced when I played, I was convinced uh, when I played that Tsunami, there was no way you were playing counter spells. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm surprised you played a Tsunami into four untapped blue mana, but. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> the reason I did it was because I hadn't seen one all, all match. Yeah. I just assumed like if you were playing counter spell or whatever, you would have played it at least once. I mean, I, there was nothing to counter really. But uh, yeah, well, I, I'm running. I'm running counter spells. Trust me, they're there. Um, and yeah. then uh, I took so much damage early because of the fact that I played that volcanic island and you blew it up. Um, had yeah. a fistful of red cards. You know, it's just what, what, what are you going to do? I mean, I couldn't cast anything. I drew a bunch of extra cards and uh, you know kept on drawing islands in red cards. It's like, oh, what am I going to do okay. here? But well, I mean, you got that's... heavily mana screwed in that in that second game. Yeah, like outrageously mana screwed. So. Oh, it's what it is, but uh, you know, we uh, we play the games. I assumed that tsunami was coming in, 
I don't have a lot to board in. Um, I mean, I already had the earthquakes in the main deck. Um, I drew lots of lots of mana game one and uh, got kind of mana hosed game two, and that's yeah. that's part of magic that we have to accept. So yeah, I mean, I was a turn away from winning that game. <laughs> yeah, so, no, well, yeah, I was at one life, so you couldn't yeah. have been closer, really. Right, right, and mm -hmm. you know, had had you played your cards a little bit differently and taken the damage or had to burn um, at yeah. one point in time, then uh, you, uh, yeah. you know, it, it, well, we would have been playing in a game three. So Rich, I have to say that you were a very good sport coaxing me through some of that because yeah. I was definitely being, I'm being sloppy with the, with the man. So I appreciate your patience. It's all good, man. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, um, thank you for the games and uh, I'll see you next time. Okay. All right, yeah, good playing with you, Rich. Always right. fun, man. Take care. Bye. Peace. All right, well, we didn't get their chat, but that's okay. Um, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the deck that we are running today, shall we? Uh, where is it? Today's deck. Okay, Red Blue Candle Flare. So uh, it is uh, just a bit of a twist on Candle Flare in, uh, in that it's not just uh, mono red, but uh, we've got... Uh, the candelabras and the mana flares and then uh with the uh candelabras in with a power surge on the table you can untap your opponent's lands to make them take damage um and then uh um another thing that uh is fun is that uh we've got the um uh the b -b 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 psychic venoms um so uh for blue and a colorless enchanted land, whenever it becomes tapped, um, it, it deals two damage. So there's uh, ICs in there. Look, I mean, there are four counter spells and a mana drain in there. I promise, I promise you that those counter spells are there. Uh, I wasn't kidding on that, but uh, <laughs> you know, is what it is. All right. So the only thing I boarded in in that matchup was the the Shivan Dragon. Um, I took out the Time Twister, boarded in the Shivan. Uh, the Time Twister was probably going to help him more than it would have. Um, helped me uh, because of all the Lord of the Ground things that, that he was running. So that was the only change that I made there. But uh, some blue blasts, some red blasts, a shivin, uh, blood moons, and cities in a bottle, plus two copies of Shatterstorm. Um, but uh, we did not get there against uh, the mono green deck. But Rainbow Veil, vale, maybe maybe I should be playing Rainbow Veil. Vale. Um, it, it, it might be... Uh, something that uh, worth considering. One thing is I didn't want to run too many non-basics because of uh, my own blood moons. Um, so, uh, you know, it could be something. Um, so, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, yeah, thinking control at the beginning of the next end step uh, when I tap it. So, it uh, could end up uh, being something where I tap it during their end step. It untaps on my turn and I retain control of it. And then I leave it untapped, and uh, they get control of it untapped on uh, that end step. So uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, but, uh, you know, here's what it is. Not a big deal. All right. So uh, one thing that we did not yet do today, I guess uh, we probably should have done that, is that uh, we've got to go with our, uh, our color chooser. So uh, let's pick a new color, shall we? Pick a color for uh, um, my card frame in red. That's fitting. Right, so uh, we'll uh, switch this border to red, and we will turn off the gold for now. All right, so I appreciate everybody who is here. This is my regularly scheduled stream. I play three rounds of Old School Magic each and every Tuesday night as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet with the Northern Paladin. So please turn on those notifications so you know when I go live, and do not forget to follow. We do have some... Uh, um, some extra streams coming up later this week. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, that's 5 Pacific, I will be playing in another match of Mirage Block Constructed. That's Paper Magic. Uh, that is not uh, Magic Online. It will be Paper Magic. Um, so uh, that is pretty fun. This is week four. I believe there's a fifth week as well. Uh, so we've been getting uh, our, our pairings once a week. Once everybody finishes up, it's been uh, a pretty good time. Um, another thing is that I am playing in the Seven Points Singleton League. This month we are using zero points. Um, so I do have another match of uh, zero points Singleton at noon 
Eastern on Thursday. So uh, that should be a good time for those who are, are not aware of uh, Seven Point Singleton. There is a link in the chat now for the Seven Point Singleton League. You see the cards that are on uh, on your screen right now are the pointed cards that are banned for the month of April. Um, but uh, generally what it is, uh, you have seven points to spend and you can put any of these cards in your deck and uh, you just cannot exceed seven total points. And uh, anything else that is not in this list of cards is considered zero points. So we go with uh, Atlantic Old School. And then uh, we go with uh, these pointed cards. And it is definitely a fun, fun time. So um, looking forward to uh, playing some more Seven Points Singleton uh, here on the stream. All right, so uh, everybody, I appreciate you being here. I'm going to take a quick break so that I can uh, run to the restroom and get a refill. So don't touch that dial. I will be back soon with more Old School Magic. Welcome back, everybody. I appreciate uh, you all sticking around through the break. Um, we are playing uh, three rounds of Old School Magic tonight. We just uh, played round number one, and we've got two more rounds to go. So let's take a look again at uh, what we are playing today. Red and blue candle flare. So with mana flare, uh, anytime a land is tapped for mana, it, it produces an additional mana. Uh, with Candelabra of Taunos for X mana and tap, you can untap X target lands. So with a Mana Flare on the table, you can tap all of your lands for mana and use half of that mana to untap all of them with the Candelabra and then tap them again. So you basically have three times the amount of mana as you have lands so that we can uh, end up going with a Fireball to the face or a large Earthquake or a Disintegrate or even a very, very large Brain Geyser. Um, 
Another fun interaction is Power Surge. Power Surge looks at the number of lands that are untapped at the beginning of your turn, and you take one point of damage for each of those at the beginning of your upkeep. So uh, with the Candelabra, I can untap my opponent's lands on my turn so that they take damage from the Power Surge on their turn. Other fun things are the Psychic Venoms. Uh, enchant lands, when the Enchanted Land is tapped, it, uh, its controller takes two, so that's uh, where those ICs are, are pretty cool as well. And then I need the mana sync of the uh, GMD tomes, as well as obviously the, the X spells and uh, Mishra's factory. So let's take a look at uh, what we've got in the sideboard today. We are running two copies of Shatterstorm, three copies of Blue Elemental Blast, four copies of Red Elemental Blast, one Shivan Dragon, three blood moons and two cities in a bottle so uh um didn't do so hot against that uh um mono green deck but uh i didn't draw so well so that, that's one of those things so fascinating at the, at the end step could an opponent's mistress factory activate itself and tap to avoid the power surge damage at the beginning of the yes yeah if you have some way of of sinking the mana into something then uh absolutely you can uh you know, sink the mana into something it, however you want it to, um, as long as, uh, you know, you, you don't want to take mana burn. I mean, we're in a format where mana burn exists, so you can't just tap the lands just to tap them. That's why Power Surge actually works in this format. Otherwise, uh, if, uh, if it wasn't for mana burn, then Power Surge would be unplayable. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if an opponent has something like Mistress Factory or, or some way to spend the mana, then they can go ahead and spend the mana. And uh, they won't take the damage from uh, the Power Surge uh, at the beginning of uh, their upkeep. So, uh, But, I mean, you still have to tap those lands and you have to spend that mana. Uh, that's, that's what's uh, cool about the format because mana burn exists. So, um, wasn't sure if Mishra could activate itself. Yeah, uh, Mishra can activate itself. Um absolutely uh and uh, that's a trick that could end up uh, happening uh you know who knows uh maybe in one of the other uh, games that uh comes up all right so the round timer has ended let's uh, i'll take a look to see what we've got for matches that are outstanding um all matches and it looks like there is one match that has not yet been reported so uh, hoping that uh, that gets done soon and we can uh, get going with round number two. So how's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all having a great night. Um, it is uh, a decent, it was a decent day today here in Syracuse, New York. Um, it was in the 60s, uh, low 60s today, which is good weather for us. Um, six, uh, Fahrenheit for those of you guys who are uh, watching overseas, 60 Fahrenheit. Um, and uh, it was a it was a nice day today. Um, it's supposed to be nice pretty much all week, which is good. Um, so, uh, Champ Blankman, thank you for for showing up. Just got here. What are we jamming tonight? Well, let's I'll take a look, man. All right, let's uh, take a look at my red and blue candle flare deck. So, uh, four copies of mana flare, three candelabras, two copies of JMD tome, one disintegrate. Four Psychic Venoms, two Ices, four Power Surges, three Fireballs, two Earthquakes, one Recall, one uh, Brain Geyser, one Ancestral, one Time Walk, one Time Twister, four Counter Spells, one Mana Drain, one Chaos Orb, the two appropriate Moxin, Soul Ring, and Lotus, ten Islands, uh, we've got five Mountains, and four Dual Lands, and a Mishra's Factory. Everybody building power search now? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, it's, uh, it's something... Uh, this deck I've been planning for a couple of weeks because I do plan out my decks uh, normally uh, a few weeks ahead of time. Um, and uh, for those uh, who are not aware, uh, by the way, those uh, white-bordered mountains, those are um, from the set anthologies. So uh, let's uh, take a look. So... Um, they're from the set Anthologies, and uh, they actually have the Arabian Nights Scimitar on them. Here we go. All right, so they are white-bordered Arabian Nights Mountains. They're just a, a cool little uh, collector's piece that uh, I don't get to run very often. So uh, um, 
you know, whoops, now, now I screwed up my camera, right? So, uh, playing in uh, Paladin's Bracket event in the Philly Old School Discard this, this month. Ooh, that should be fun. Never played Paladin's before, so you're stoked. Well, Paladin's is fun. I mean, we play here every Tuesday night, um, and, uh, you know, we have a, a really good time. And, uh, you know, sometimes we play spiky decks, sometimes we play spicy decks. Um, it's uh, a little interesting um, to, you know, you have to get used to the format. The format is creature-based. Um, it's geared towards towards creature decks. Uh, but, uh, of course, um, you know, Team Bad Guy is, is a heck of a deck that uh, could end up getting played. That's uh, with uh, red, blue, and black where you play... Uh, you know, Cyblasts and Saren Dibs and Lightning Bolts and Chain Lightnings and uh, um, him to Torok and Hippies and, and things like that. So um, we have a new pairing. So let's uh, take a look and see against whom I am playing. Joe Freshwater. All right. So uh, our buddy Joe is going to be joining the stream here in uh, just a few moments. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to... Uh, having him on the stream again good friend of of mine and uh friend of the stream of course um so i'm looking forward to uh him being here so let's hey how's it going mr rich well, how are you brother uh, i'm doing all right so uh you didn't do so hot round one either huh i had i had like two lands uh, um <laughs> i i had a lot of lands in game number one and uh then i had a lot of lands destroyed in game number two so it's one of those things well i'm glad to get to play you that was my choice uh i was hoping in the beginning yeah uh so champ linkman says i'm jamming something on the border between arabian aggro and uh, Lestri Tempo. Okay, so I don't know what Lestri Tempo means, but uh, oh, are you on school. stream? Are you streaming tonight? Yeah, I'm streaming tonight. Uh, just uh, just somebody in chat had, had, uh, I love your post had posted that. So, uh, uh, <coughs> hello everyone. <laughs> old school guard in uh, chat uh, got a bit of a break there for a few seconds um, for uh, putting uh, uh, a few too many emojis in the stream. <laughs> so uh, don't worry about it when it's when it's your first offensive for the stream you only get uh, like uh, a 10 second timeout and then uh, after that it ends up being like five minutes or 10 minutes or something along those lines oh so uh now he wants me to do a barrel roll um i guess uh i guess uh I, we should do that um just uh because of that um there's our barrel roll right there backwards and forwards yeah no, definitely don't want to put you in stream jail old school guard is uh, somebody who uh, supports the stream very very well um i appreciate everything that you do so heck yeah yeah so we've got a uh, feature match going on here you can put the middle one on top joe sounds good same for you buddy okay all right and you want to choose even or odd i'll take uh even this time hmm all right. Even? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I will keep. All right. Yep. I will lay a land. Uh -huh. I will lay a mox, and I oh, will say go. It's a good start. Draw island. Go ahead. I'll draw a card. Lay a land and say go. All right, I will draw. I will play a volcanic island and I will say go. Draw a card. I will lay a land and say go. All right. Draw island candelabra. Okay. And you can go. Draw a card. Lay a land. Uh, tap all five for a water elemental. I will counterspell your water elemental. All set? Yep. And how many cards do you have now, Joe? One, two, three, four. Okay. Untap. Four cards Draw. and a lot of sadness. Six. Uh, all right. But hey, this time I got mana, so I'm happy. Yep. 
I drew to six. Now I'm at five. I'm going to play a book. And I will say go. Okay. I will untap. I will draw a card. Crixus Delver. Hi, how you doing? I hope you're having a great time. Thanks for joining the stream. We got an air elemental. Air elemental. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then we'll say go ahead. Untap. Volcanic Island. Soul Ring. Alright. Um, three, four, five. Uh, four point fireball to the air elemental, please. I will unsummon okay. the air elemental. That works. And you can go. Untap. <laughs> Draw a card. Lay out a land. And bring out an air elemental. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, go ahead, my friend. Okay. Untap. Draw. I'm sure you got more, more burn, though. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate it. Old school guard with the 25 bits. Um, I'm going to draw a card with the tome. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast a Power Surge. Okay, what does that do again? Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you take damage for each land that was untapped at the beginning of your turn. Okay. Um... And then, uh, what do we do? Um, cards in hand, Joe? Ah, uh, two. Two, okay. I'm going to play a Lotus. All right. I'm going to crack the Lotus for blue. And then uh, I'm going to untap all four of your tapped lands. Okay. And then, and then will... I'm going to respond by casting a Psionic Blast on you. Okay. Um, you... So you'll take four damage, and okay. I'll take two. All right. And uh, go ahead. And then I will take three yep. more damage on my turn. All going right. To so you're at 15, I'm at 16. Untap. Draw a card. I will swing in for four. I'll take it. I'm a 12. Um, and then I'll say, go ahead. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Untap. Draw. I didn't realize Candelabra could be used like that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Not going to lie. Um, I'm going to draw a card. And then I will... Lay a land, and I'm going to cast a Mana Flare. All right. And I will pass the turn. So I'll take six. Put it in Going down to nine. Yep. Untap. Draw a card. Uh, swing it in for four. I'm at eight. Uh, go ahead. Um, end step. I will tap to untap two target lands of yours. Uh, mine are already untapped. Yep, it, it doesn't. They don't have to be tapped lands. It, okay. All right. I'm just using the mana. That's all. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna pay four, and I'm gonna draw a card. Two mana. I'm going to cast a Psychic Venom on one of your white bordered lands. And uh, I will say go. Okay, so I will take six, putting me at three. Yep. Untap, 
draw a card. I will lay out an island. Okay. I will swing in for four. I'm at four. Uh, then I will say, go ahead. Um, Actually, uh, you know what? Uh, I already said it. Never mind. Hmm? Um, uh, end step. I will put four in the candelabra to untap four of your lands. Um, untap. Upkeep. I take one. I'm at three. So we're at three apiece. Yep. And I will draw. And I will draw a card with the book. And I will play a land. Two, four, six, eight mana. I'm going to brain geyser myself for six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will play a ruby. And I will say go. Yep, and then I will untap, and on my upkeep, I will die. All right. I should have unsummoned my guy. And then so that you could recast it. it, yeah. But you would have been able to untap anyways. Yep. Whew. Uh, Grixis Delver in chat. So I just recently looked at the price of my revised Brain Geyser and found that the price went from ten dollars to about sixty, and shouldn't be surprised what I am. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of the restricted cards, reserve list cards, are going up in value. All of them, as well. Uh, yeah, old school guard. Uh, yeah, it's a, a spicy deck today. Um, I, I played a bunch of spiky decks for for quite some time, and I decided that I didn't want to. Uh, uh, continue to do so because it just uh, isn't uh, well it, I mean winning's okay don't get me wrong but uh, um, well. Ottawa old school thank you for joining us I appreciate it um, I don't have my deck list uh, so that you can show it you can look at it that way uh, but I will uh, um, I will put it up in between rounds or you can uh, go over to my discord um, it is in Discord. Um, if uh, you join my Discord, you can uh, take a look at that now. So, all right, going into game number two. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, all right. I'm doing that. Got I sideboarded uh, five cards. Okay. And then I will lay these out. That's too many. That's too many. Um, your play mat matches your deck really nice. Oh, thank you. Um, there we go. That works. Did anyone open any Time Spiral Remastered packs? Uh, probably not very many people who watch uh, Old School Magic uh, because the Time Spiral Remastered cards, even with the old porters, are not uh, reprints of cards that are legal in Old School. So um, that's probably uh, probably not too many people in this uh, in this uh, channel have have done so. But there are some cool looking cards in Time Spiral Remastered that have that were given the old border treatments. So um, the one on your right can go on top, Joe. I haven't seen that yet. So 
The one on your right can go on top. Uh, one on my right. Okay. Yep. Uh, one on your right as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will keep. Um, I will keep as well. Spin the wheel. Oh, right. oh, I thought. Oh, sorry. Spin the wheel. No, I missed that. Okay. Let's me. I will lay out a land mm -hmm. and a sapphire. Then I will say go. Okay, real quick, we will uh, spin the wheel to change our color. Okay, so we will... Uh, it is gold, so we will go back to gold and... Uh, Sorry about that, Joe. No, you're good, brother. And uh, we will move back <coughs> to the game. Brown isn't working for me, plus I wanted to distract you, so Joe had a good chance to keep it. Okay, so Joe opening up with Island Sapphire for the second game in a row. Draw. And then uh, I'm learning something. How do I know when I get priority on your turn? Um, whenever I pass priority? So, like, uh, well, can I cast an instant now or not yet? Um, I'm going to say go, so you can do anything at any point during my turn after I played my land. Yeah. This one's for uh, Tony Anderson. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap the Sapphire, cast myself Ancestral. Oh, there you go. I always used to do it on my turn, and mm -hmm. my friend Tony would be like, what are you doing? Yeah. One, two, three, four... What you should have done, Joe, you should have done it during my upkeep when I wouldn't like when I couldn't do anything. So Gotcha. Probably your best chance to do it when you're gonna cast it on turn one. And uh I wasn't sure if I had priority. Yeah. Old school guard, thank you very much for the bits again. Alright, I'm I'm done, so go ahead. Hit, untap, draw a card. Let's lay out a land. And let's tap three. For a wall of air, and sure. we'll say go ahead. Okay, draw. I will play another mountain and a castle. All right. And you can go. Untap. Let's draw a card. Lay out a land. We're gonna tap four for a pirate or uh, yeah. ghost ship. Ghost ship. Okay. Two four regenerator. Okay. All set? Yep. Untap. Draw. Well, this isn't going very well. Um, I'm going to cast a Power Surge. Okay. And you can go. Untap. Draw a card. And I'm going to declare my attack. Yep. Also, I took four or three, right? No, because they weren't untapped. Okay. It's only so if they're untapped at the tapped beginning you. of your turn. So I'm at 18. And then I tap four mm -hmm. for another ghost, another ghost ship. ship. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Grixis, Grixis Delver Legacy in chat says, I opened up 11 packs from Walmart and Target and pulled Foil Old Border Trigon Predator. Uh, that That's pretty cool. Um, one thing, though, if, if, if you bought them from Walmart or Target, that means that you weren't supporting your local game store. I understand that a bunch of the local game stores were having troubles with with in-stock issues, so I'm hoping that that was the case, that uh, you were uh, spending the money with Walmart or Target because you couldn't get them from your local game store. So, uh, but uh, yeah, the, the Trigon Predator does look pretty cool. Um, That's right. the uh, flyer that gets, gets rid of enchantments, right? Uh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to activate the uh, Chaos Orb. Yep. All right, and I'm going to use my Power Surge as your untapped ghost ship. Hit. 
and then I'm going to red elemental blast the other ghost ship. And I'm going to say go. Uncat. Um, draw a card. I'm a strong proponent of uh, supporting the local Black game points. stores. Um, we have a few in our areas, especially during COVID, because uh, they have taken Lotus quite a hit. For three, for three white. Sure. Three white. Uh, tap blue, blue, and blue for a Muhammad Jin. Okay. Uh, and then we'll say, go ahead. All right. Untap. Draw. Well, that's a thing. Volcanic Island. Time walk. And then do you take one, or does it not use only opponents? Hmm? Oh, do you also have I, to do the search? I didn't un I didn't have a turn yet where I was untapping with uh with cool. lands on taps. So um time walk resolve. Yep. Okay. So I will uh, move to the next turn. I will take one. I'm at seventeen. I will draw. I'm gonna cast a mana flare. Alright. And I will say go. Untap. Draw a card. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big for a water elemental. Okay, we got two left. And a chaos orb. Okay. And then we're going to Swing in for five. All right, I'll take it. I'm at uh, go ahead. 12. Not able to go because they're not really being open because of COVID. Yeah, no, I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, one of those things, uh, you know, I, obviously I would prefer if we could always support our local game stores. It is definitely pretty tough right now with uh, some of them being closed and maybe not even ever opening again. So, um,. This is not doing so good for us. Um, how many cards do you have, Joe? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Um, I see manipulator. All right. Go ahead. I will untap. I will upkeep, draw, lay out a land, um, declare my attack. Um, inside combat, before we declare attackers, I'm going to tap your mom out of gin. Okay. Coming in for five. And I will take one mana burn. And that brings me down to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, for a water elemental. Okay. Got one that left. one extra mana. Mm -hmm. Can you push your cards uh, forward? You're starting to move your cards back away from the camera. So, oh, sorry. Yep. You know. Thanks, man. Yep. And moves forward to uh, that one extra mana mm -hmm. goes into the chaos orb, okay. and the chaos orb is going to hit the mana flare. Okay. So this will be the mana flare. Okay. I can hit it. Good job. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then I'll say go. I got two cards in hand. All right. Untap. Draw. You got it. All right. <laughs> I was just thinking ghost ships are nice because they can uh, sink mana into a regeneration shield, um, I think. Blue mana would have been nice earlier for me. Um, you know, me having to skip skip playing lands a couple of turns, it was uh, pretty harsh. Uh, old School Guard in chat asked, Dear Rich, why is your twiddle handle, 
handle only one O N one Y zero N E signed Mr. Curious. So um, Rich Bork was taken. Um, I've had my Twitter handle for quite some time. A uh, bunch of my online handles were only one. That's O N one Y zero N E and have been that way since um, 1999. So when I did join Twitter back however long ago it was, um, that was uh, uh, that was available. So I took it. Um, I had only one at uh, uh, yahoo.com as an email address. I had only one as my um, my old um, Xbox login and my old PlayStation login. Um, everything uh, was only one. So uh, the name is a reference to the movie Highlander. There can be only one. Uh, so uh, that is why it was that and I wanted to make sure that it was something that was unique enough that I could uh, guarantee almost that I could get it so O-N-1-Y-0-N-E um, is uh, my Twitter handle and that is the remnants of uh, days gone by and that is the only um, the only one left um, because I have switched everything else up um, as much as possible to uh, Rich Bork so uh, my uh, YouTube has been changed, my, um, obviously my Facebook, my uh, uh, Xbox gamer handle, um, things like that. So, a good question. It's pretty crazy that there's another Rich Bork. There are lots and lots of Rich Borks out there. So, um, and then uh, because uh, of uh, my personal email has, is, uh, has something to do with my name, um, I have in the past gotten um, email intended for somebody else named Rich Bork as well. Middle on top, Joe. All right, I will do the middle on top as well. Okay, and I will play first. Good luck. All right. Fun. I'm gonna mulligan. Four. My only land was my one of uh, Mistress Factory. Not very good. Not very good in a two color deck. I have a whole bunch of colored mana sources, but yeah. So we've been having mana issues. Um, all of our games pretty much, uh, which is unfortunate for the stream, but we'll see what happens. Uh, they're here for your personality. You, you play decks sometimes that like are so unique mm -hmm. that they don't really have a shot to win <laughs> and like that's what's cool you know yeah that's why i watch when i'm not playing like the fourth edition starter deck you did yeah that was pretty cool one two three uh one on top one on top okay uh one I will keep. I will keep as well. Um, I'll put that one on the bottom. And I will go. Volcanic Island, Candelabra. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw a card, lay a land, and say go ahead. Untap. Draw. Mountain. Power search. Okay. And go ahead. Um. I at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. I will ancestral recall myself. Okay. Joe's getting One. real good at drawing that power. Two. Three. All right. So now. I will untap, I will lay a land, and I will say, go ahead. Untap, draw. I will discard oh. a wall of air. Can you turn down whatever you're listening to the stream on, Joe? Or or whatever you're listening to us talk yeah. on? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm a little hearing a little bit of reverb there. Sure, one sec here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to play an island. I gotta go grab up my uh, controller. Okay, I'll wait.
Okay, hopefully that's better. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to Psychic Venom targeting one of your islands. And I'll use the uh, screw because okay. I'm screwed. All right. And All right. I will say go. So I'm going to take two. Yep. Whoops. Draw card. 18. Lay out a card. And uh, go ahead. And step, I will untap the land with the screw. Untap. Rough. Soul ring. Um, go ahead. I will take three. Put you at 15. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Lay out a land. Bring out a pirate ship and take two. Okay. Puts you at 13. Uh, and then I'll say go ahead. Um, end step. I'm going to untap all four of your lands. Untap. Draw. And you can go. I'll put a regeneration shield on him. Sure. And I'll take one. Put you at 12. Draw a card, lay a land, I'm gonna tap all five, take two, put you ten, and we're gonna bring out a water elemental. That works. Then I'll say go ahead. Um, end step, I will untap all five of your lands. Untap. Draw. Uh, I'm going to cast a Psychic Venom on your white bordered land. And then I'm going to cast a Mana Flare. Uh, in response to the mana flare, I'll tap three mm -hmm. to put a regeneration shield on him. Sure. Actually, can I do one, two, three, four, five, six? I don't think that'll work. Okay. Yeah, three. Okay. And I will play an island. I will tap it for two. And I will untap two of your tapped islands. Okay. And then I will tap... For one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. to put another regeneration shield on him. Okay. I'll take one, uh, one mana burn. Okay. Put you at nine. Yep. And you can go. And I'll take two more. Put you one at seven. seven. Untap. Draw a card. Um, gonna lay a land. Okay. So one, two. Three, four, five, six. My money. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, taking two. Put you to five. For a water elemental and an air elemental. Okay. Swinging in for five, six, seven. I'm at 13. Uh, then I'll say go ahead. Okay. Can you scoot your cards up again, man? Yep. Okay. Sorry, I can't okay. see really. Um, on my screen, it looks like you can see it all. Draw. Can you see here? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Just lands on the bottom. And I got three cards. You're at five. Five. Ten.
You have five lands tapped. Yep, five lands tapped. Um, I'm going to pay six to untap all six of your lands. Okay. And I'll say go. So one, two, three, four, five, six for two regeneration shields. Sure. Uh, one, two. You're going to take two damage from that one if you tap it. That's the one that's got yeah, I'm thinking, it's enchanted. I'm thinking what's left more or less damage. I'll just take the... So yeah. So I'll put two regeneration uh, shields. Mm -hmm. I will then take three damage okay going to two yep untap upkeep draw i'm gonna lay a land mm -hmm. uh going to swing 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 you got it just lands good game brother yep i had i had a bunch of on summons like that's not gonna do me any good Whew. Apparently my deck's not very good. <laughs> what game was that? That was game number three. That was game three, okay. Yeah. Well, hey man, it's good. It's good to see you. Yeah. And I hope things are going good. Thanks for Rain. you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate the games. All right. Yeah. Well, and you have a good night. You too. Take care. Well, chat, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basically what it boils down to, we are not doing so well today. Uh, we're uh, having some mana issues. Um, and that's just part of, of magic. It's part of uh, old school sometimes. Um, I'm playing 24 mana sources. Um, so the fact that I'm having mana issues so often seems a little odd. But, uh, you know, especially in a two-color deck. Um, I don't, I, I'm drawing a lot of mountains with 10 islands in the deck, and I keep on drawing multiple mountains when I've only got five. It's just so weird. So weird how, how variance exists and in, in how it works sometimes. Um, but, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? This is what we got. We got Candle Flare. We're having fun. Um, this is our sideboard. Uh, Obviously, I boarded in the Red Elemental Blasts against Joe. Um, I boarded out um, some stuff and still uh, didn't do so. Like, I don't know. I mean, obviously, something must have happened where I, I built this wrong because I uh, am now 0-2. But, uh, meh. What am I going to do? All right, stick around. Uh, I'm going to take a break. Uh, appreciate you all being here. And uh, don't touch that dial. I'll be back soon with more Old School Magic.
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we do still have uh, a little bit of time left before the rounds uh, is done. So uh, um, we'll be here for just uh, a few more moments before we get our next pairing. So uh, please don't forget to follow. You can join me each week for my regularly scheduled stream. I play three rounds of Old School Magic each and every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern with the Northern Paladins as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. So the link is in chat if you want some information regarding the Northern Paladins. Um, you can uh, go to northernpaladins.com. gives you some information regarding the Tuesday Night Gauntlet, uh, Paladin Magic that we play on Tuesday nights, or even the Alpha 40 League that uh, you see here on stream occasionally. So uh, lots of information there. If you head on over to northernpaladins.com. Coming up tomorrow, I do have uh, another stream of Mirage Block Constructed. Again, paper magic here on my stream. I'll be playing uh, uh, round number four of uh, 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 Mirage Block Constructed League and uh, hoping that uh, we can have uh, another good time. Mirage Visions and Weather Light is... Uh, uh, around the time where I started playing Magic. I started playing Magic back in 1996. So Mirage was the first set that was released after uh, um, after I uh, first started playing. So uh, it was uh, definitely something that uh, was uh, has very fond memories uh, for me. Now, um, my, the very first pack that I ever opened was actually an Alliances pack. And uh, I got a Lake of the Dead as my rare. Uh, a lot of people were looking for... Uh, a silly uncommon that uh, you would uh, pitch cards to, to counter spells with, uh, Force of Will. Um, but uh, yeah, I got a Lake of the Dead, which, you know, back then it was not worth a whole heck of a lot of money, but uh, now it's worth uh, a lot. Um, you know, it's a reserve list card. So uh, reserve list cards hold value. They don't, uh, they won't get reprinted. And occasionally people will buy them out and uh, then, uh, you know, the scarcity increases even more because uh, fewer of them are available. Um, so it uh, makes it difficult to get newer players into uh, um, older formats uh, like uh, pre-modern or even uh, old school. Um, what's nice about uh, Paladin Magic that we play here on Tuesdays is that uh, Paladins allow for proxies. So while I don't use proxies all that often on the stream, there are players who do, and uh, um, the more the merrier. I would much rather play against people who are playing proxies um, because they want to build a, a, a good and fun deck as opposed to, uh, you know, not have opponents. So um, I am very pro-proxy. Um, my uh, power cards are collector's edition. I have a lot of collector's edition cards, which are legal in old school magic. Uh, some people consider them fake or consider them proxies. They are not. They are real cards printed by Wizards of the Coast. And uh, um, it is because of the fact that um, I have, uh, you know, so many collector's edition or even foreign black bordered uh, cards that I can't play in Swedish uh, events like uh, NoobCon that happened uh, over the weekend uh, on Friday. I don't have enough cards to satisfy the requirements because Swedish allows for only English, Alpha Beta Unlimited, and uh, you know then Arabian and Antiquities, Legends, and the Dark, and no reprints at all, so no revised or anything like that. So um, I would uh, have a hard time putting a Swedish legal deck together for the Swedish reprint policy. Um, you know, I might be able to, to scrape up enough basic lands to throw a deck together, but like even my Cities of Brass are uh, foreign black bordered, and uh, um, I have a lot of artist proofs. Artist proofs aren't legal in Swedish, old school. Um, even Italian Legends isn't uh, legal in Swedish, old school. So um, when it comes to uh, playing old school magic I prefer to play in formats that allow the collector edition cards because those are what I have um, I got into old school when uh, collector edition power um, was not super duper expensive now I mean now a lotus is like seven eight grand um, which I mean not a lot of people have that extra money popping around that uh, they can just uh, dump into old school magic so uh, yeah I'm definitely okay with people playing with proxies because 
Proxies are awesome. Demon Jedi, thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it for one bit. Uh, for those of you who uh, are not aware, our friend Demon Jedi is also a streamer. He streams first-person shooters on his stream every weekend. So uh, you can uh, um, check out his link in the chat right now. Um, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Demon Jedi. Good friend of mine. I've known him for a number of years. Um, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, check out his stream. If you want to see some uh, first-person shooters played badly, he is definitely the streamer to watch. And just like me, he... Uh, um, incentivizes his audience to uh, cheer against him. So, uh, uh, yeah, you uh, can spend uh, um, bits and channel points in his uh, in his uh, channel to tell him that uh, tell him that he sucks <laughs> uh, and whatnot. So, <coughs> so thanks for joining the stream tonight, man. I appreciate it. So, let's uh, take a look at what we have got going on tonight. This is our red blue candle flare deck that we are playing tonight. And uh, with that, uh, basically, we take uh, mana flare, which doubles the amount of mana that uh, our. Well, it gives you an extra mana when you tap a land. So, you know, multiple mana flares, you know, would end up being for two mana or for three mana or four mana. So, uh, each land would give me two mana uh, with a single mana flare. And then Candle Lobber of Taunos allows me to untap X target lands. So with Mana Flare on the table, I, so suppose I had five lands on the table with a Mana Flare. I tap my five lands for 10 mana, use five of that mana to untap them with a Candelabra, and then I tap them for five again, uh, sorry, for 10 again. So I would end up with 15 mana out of five lands. Um, so that uh, something like a Fireball or a Disintegrate can go to my opponent's face. Um, that is the plan that has not come to fruition yet, but uh, that is part of the plan. Backup plan is uh, with Psychic Venom and Icy Manipulators, and also with uh, Power Surge. Uh, Power Surge makes uh, each player take damage equal to the number of untapped lands they started the turn with. So I can use my backup strategy for the um, using the Candelabra of Taunos to untap my opponent's lands so that uh, they take damage from the power surge. Uh, Stimuli says that uh, the next uh, force field, the next time a, an unblocked creature of your choice would deal combat damage to you this turn, prevent all but one of that damage. Yeah, maybe that would make some sense in this deck. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, uh, but I don't... Um, I don't repeat decks very often here on stream, so uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to um, you know tinkering around with with uh, the decks that I play on stream, I don't uh, uh, you know I don't really go back and build new versions of them for for quite some time. Demon Jedi re, uh, redeeming the do a barrel roll in uh, chat, so um, that's why we did that back and forth. Um, thank you for the support. I definitely uh, appreciate that. So, all right. So the round timer has ended. So that we uh, let's take a look to see what we got going on. Oh, do we have a, a new match? Ooh, we do. All right, we've got a new match and we've got a new opponent. So uh, let's welcome Rich to the stream. Hey, Rich. How are you? Hey, Rich. You doing okay? All right, well, let's uh, change the name so it doesn't say Joe on there anymore. <laughs> um, oh, why is Ricardo coming in here, too? Oh, is it, am I? I mean, Do I don't have I the know. wrong opponent? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Well, do, 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 do. Yeah, Ricardo, R Ricardo's playing against uh, Damien. Right, right. Yep, yeah, so let's... Uh, do this. Say no. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the first time you slammed the door on somebody? On no, it's definitely <laughs> not. And th and that's why um, that's why I uh, make it so that uh, they have to knock to come in instead of just just joining, so that I can uh, um, more easily boot them out. So yeah, makes sense. All right, and then we are in uh, round number. So it hasn't been a great night no, with this new not. deck. No. Yeah. 
but that's okay. Did you uh, did you get to take a look at the deck? I wasn't sure if you had the time. I was watching some when I was done with my match. I was watching uh, the stream, mm -hmm. so I saw some of the uh, the cards that you were playing. Yeah, yeah I, just, I wasn't sure if you looked at the deck in Discord or not. So. Um, yeah, I mean, you also showed it on the screen, too, so yeah. I was able to see it. Mm -hmm. It's a cool deck. So, so uh, the link to my Discord is in the chat, everybody. So um, if you join my Discord, uh, my Discord, excuse me, you get access to see the decks before the stream happen. Um, that includes any of my uh, my other decks, like uh, my Mirage Block deck, my 7-point Singleton deck, uh, things of that nature. I also bounce things off uh, people in uh, my Discord when it comes to changes for the stream or ideas for the stream. For example, the cool new layout that uh, you see here on the stream. That uh, I've noticed that uh, more streamers are starting to do something very similar to this um, and whatnot. And then... Uh, um, just like uh, yesterday with the help that I wanted for something that I may be starting to stream later on uh, down the road that is not magic related. So, fun times. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Do you want to choose even or odd? I'll take evens. All right. It is even. It is a four. All right. I'll take the play. Okay. You can put the middle on top. All righty. And so can you. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Hmm. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm going to keep. We are in round number three. All right. Oh, your camera you froze. Go. Oh, there it goes. You good? Nope, you're good. Go ahead. Uh, one can go on top. Yep. Right. Let's do one, three, two. Okay. Okay, I'll keep and I will toss this guy. Okay. All right. So let's start off planes. All right. And an Ication Javelin Eater. Seems good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, draw. Um, Mistress Factory, Candelabra of Tonos. Go ahead. Okay. Draw. Okay, planes. Tap to. I'll disenchant the Thanos. Okay. And I'll attack for one. I'll take it. 19. Pass. One tap. Draw. Uh, volcanic Islands. Attack for two. 18. Go ahead. Untap, draw. Okay, planes. Mm -hmm. Attack for one. I'll take it. 18s each. Alright. Play Lotus. Ooh. Now Sacred for white. Yep. Sarah. Now play Sarah, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Untap, draw. Island. Chaos Orb. Okay. Activate the Chaos Orb. No response. Going to use my Mistress Factory as your Sarah. Hit. That's good. And you can go. Untap. Draw. Attack for one. I'll take it. 17. Okay. Tap planes. Spend alliance. Pass yep. to you. Okay. Untap. Draw. And how many cards do you have? I got one. One. Uh, 
earthquake for one. Yeah. So I'm at uh, 16, you're at 17. Agreed. And activate and attack. No blocks. Okay. Put you to 15. Go ahead. Draw. Great planes. Mm -hmm. Pass. Untap. Draw. Islands. Activate. Attack. I'll plow the Mishra. Okay. I'll gain two. I'm at 18. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Uh, play a meek stone and pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Islands. Go ahead. Draw. Pass. Draw. Islands. Uh, go ahead. Draw. Pass. Draw. Power search. Oh, that's good. Go ahead. So I take four damage, is that right? Yep. All right. Put your 11. 11. Draw. Pass. Uh, untap. I take four. I'm at 14. Draw. It's not so bad because you're ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> How many cards? I have three. Time walk. Yep. Fireball you for three. That's good. Eight. And I'll end this turn. Okay. Untap. No damage. Draw. Yep. Demon Jedi, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Um, go ahead. Take four. Put your four. Draw. Yep. And pass. Okay, untap. I take three. I'm at 11. Draw. Fireball. You got it. I figured you let me. I let you finish me off, oh. just with the uh, the power surge alone. The fireball will do it. <clears throat> All right, we do here. All right, so we got some white weenie action going on over there. A little bit. Just a little bit. You and Jedi headed to bed. Thank you very much for stopping in, and thanks for the resub, man. I appreciate it. So, uh, again, everybody, um, make sure that uh, you uh, check out Demon Jedi's stream. Um, his link is in the chat. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Demon Jedi. That's D-E-M-0-N-J-E-D-I. Uh, for uh, some first-person shooter action going on. some medicine here for you oh yeah <laughs> let's see what it does 
you have a bunch of dead cards in your main deck against me. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely, I think you probably already know what I took out. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably Swords of Plowshares and Meek Stones. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Bold Move Gaming, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Set the life totals. Alright, sorry, one last shuffle. Where are we to go? You're fine. Okay. Uh, let's go three, two, one. Um how about two one three? Matt Abold. Wow. How's it going, man? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing well. I'm going to mulligan. I will mulligan also. Okay. So, uh, Matt, you might uh, find this rather humorous. A while back, I was at, uh, at the store um, from the vault while you were there, and you traded in a collector's edition um, Shivan Dragon. And uh, I now own that collector's edition Shivan Dragon that you traded into the store. So, uh, um, it is part of my collection. Sold the house, moved to North Carolina during the pandemic. Doing well, though. Uh, doing, we're doing well here. Um, my son is seven now, and he's uh, he's been going to school full time through the pandemic. My wife has been working; I have not, and uh, we are uh, trying to trying to manage the best that we can. It's in that car accident last week, or a little over a week ago now. Um, just picked out a new car. Um, taking delivery of that next week once the insurance company gets all their fun stuff uh, handled. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that you were okay. You yeah. know, I remember you had mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Um, you, you can put the middle on top. You can too. Yeah. Working remotely, homeschooling with the three kids. Yeah, we tried the homeschooling for a little while, but uh, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> All right. I will keep. I'll keep as well, and I'll toss this guy. Okay. All right, so I'll start us off. Okay. Let's go with the planes. Snow yeah, I am accident pro. My wife and I were just talking about it, so... Uh, um, since she and I have been together, um, we have owned seven cars, uh, besides her race car. And of the seven cars, I have been in an accident with five of them. So, wow. Nicole has his master's education, so it's all her. Oh, okay, that works out. So. All right, so I will draw and I will play. Um, I will play a Lotus, an Island, I'm going to crack this for red, and I will play a Mana Flare. Hey. And then I will tap the island for two blue, and I will put a Psychic Venom on your plane. Okay. And you can go. Three cards left. Untap. Draw. Play planes. Mm -hmm. I'll tap two. So I will Spirit Link the Savannah. Okay. And I'll play another Savannah. 
Okay. And I'll attack with this. All right, I'm at 18 and you're at 22. And pass. All right, untap. Draw. Uh, um, volcanic Island. Tap the island for two. Use one of it for a soul ring. Tap this for two. Two and the one. So I've got five mana. And I will play a fireball, splitting it between your two Savannah Wilds. That's good. And you can go. Untap. Draw. Still have most of the credit for trading in the shivin and the other cards, so yeah. Well, you'll have to make sure that uh, you let me know when you come back in the town, man. So, <coughs> I'll tap the planes for two, take one point of damage, and play Savannah. Okay. And pass. Oh, mana burn. Okay, I got you. Yeah, mana burn. All right. Mm -hmm. it's 21 to 18. Untap. Draw. Go ahead. Draw. Get planes. Mm -hmm. Sack or two. 16. Pass. Draw. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, I will disenchant your mana flare. Okay. And attack or two. 14. Go ahead. Super Loop. Hi, hi, Rich. Are most of your cards in your deck from Alpha Beta or Collector's Edition? Most of my collection is uh, Collector's Edition. I will draw. Cards in hand? One. Island. Go ahead. Untapped. Draw. Mm -hmm. Attack or two. Take it. Twelve. Um, pass. Draw. Island. Jam day tone. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Planes. Mm -hmm. Attack for two. Ten. Um, I'll tap three and play an army of the law. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll mana drain that. Okay. Ten of ten. Pass. Untap. Draw. Um, use the three and a blue to draw a card. So on Tuesday nights, we play uh, three rounds. It's a three-round event. Um, tomorrow, when I play Mirage, that is a league that is five weeks. Um, and then on Thursday, I play a league that's called Seven Point Singleton. Uh, that's seven matches over the course of three weeks. Okay, so draw. Yep. Play Mountain. Oh, I'm sorry. Play Plains. <laughs> um... Just attack for two. I'm at eight. And pass. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna draw a card with a book. Mm -hmm. 
How many cards do you have? One. Um, two mana, I'm going to Earthquake for one. Okay. Six, so 19. I got myself down to seven because I've been taking two points each turn. Oh, you're at seven? I, I, um, was at, I was at eight. I've only been taking even numbers from your Savannah Lions. Oh, because, right, right, because this is just one damage. So yeah. I'm at, what am I at then? Yeah, and then you went from 21 down to 20. So, yeah, I took two off of both of yeah. those. I'm sorry. Yeah, just one damage. So 20 to seven. And uh, you can go. Untap and draw. Tap four, I'll play Nicey. Um, that's eight because of the mana player. My mistake. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Tap yeah. two times two. Okay. Yeah, I'll play the Icy. Okay. Um, and pass. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Anything? I don't even know if I, it makes sense because I don't have to. No, go ahead. To tap and draw. Mm -hmm. I will play an icy of my own. for a power surge. Hmm. And I will pass. So I take, uh, so actually, now let's still take a burn. Even if I activated the icy, yeah. I would still take a burn, right? Because I, I have well, to only Yeah, you're going to take a mana burn from, from the extra yes. mana. Yes, so it doesn't even make it. sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then uh, I'll, I'll take four damage. Puts you at 16. I'm still at 7. Draw. Hmm. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Anything? Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't even think this is the right play. Because you can still use the gem to tell me if I tap your uh, anything, really. Yep. Yeah, so go ahead. Okay. I will draw. I'll uh, draw with the gem they tell Psychic Venom on another one of your lands. Okay. And... Two, four. I'm going to have a red floating. I'm going to cast another Mana Flare. Okay. And then with the red floating, I'm going to tap one of your planes that has a Psychic Venom on it. <laughs> and if I were to tap, I would still take three damage. Okay, so take two. Yep. Put you at 14. Yep. And I will say go. So take five. Uh, yes, not nine. Mm-hmm. Draw. Wow. Four. That's three. 
I'm sorry, three, mm -hmm. six. So I'll take one damage. Actually, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll actually use the icy. Okay. I'll play Sarah and then I'll tap, um... <laughs> I'll tap one of my lands. Okay, seems good. And uh, go ahead. All right, untap. Upkeep, draw. Um, three, four, five. I'm going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. One colorless flurry. I will play an island. Still have a colorless floating. And um, so four. Seven mana. Um, floating two blue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to recall with X equal two. Okay. I'll discard a volcanic island and an island. And I will get back a fireball. And a earthquake. Um, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will fireball you for seven. Okay. Using um... all of my mana. <laughs> Maybe I can salvage this. I'll tap one planes. Okay, for three mana. And I'll, yeah, for three mana. Mm -hmm. I'll swords my Sarah. Okay. Brings you up to thirteen. Okay. All right. So your Sarah's gone. All right. And then you've got two mana, and I still got the seven point fireball coming at you. Yep. Um, so I'm at 13 and that's okay. seven, right? Yep, that's seven. Okay, yep, I'll take it. So I'm at six. Down to six. And I'm gonna pass, so unless you got something to do One. with that two mana, you're gonna burn for two. So burn for two, so I'm down to four. Yep, and then you take two on your untap step. For upkeep, excuse me. Um, what are those two for? Because of the power surge, and you have two untapped lands. So then I subtracted two. Brings you down to two. Oh, sorry, I'm a little confused. I, I was at six to start, and then from the power surge, do I lose no, two? No, no, no. You took you took two mana burn because you tapped your planes for three mana and only used one. Oh, mana. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So then yeah. I'm at two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so you're at two, I'm at seven. Good. Yep. Draw. And you have an earthquake in hand. Yeah, I'll just pass to you. Okay, untap, <clears throat> upkeep, uh, three, four, five, draw a card, mm -hmm. and use the other one to tap one of the lands that's enchanted with a psychic venom. Yep, you got it. Oops. Whew, that deck is very, very complicated. <laughs> Good game. Whew, we got there. <clears throat> so I boarded out the uh, um, Time Twister because you have a bunch of aggressive stuff and mm -hmm. I don't want to make it so that you get to draw cards. So. <laughs> yeah, I put in uh, COP Reds. Um, okay. I did not draw them. And mm -hmm. I took out the Meek Stones. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I take out? Oh, actually I took out a, a Witch Hunter. Um, Witch Hunter. Yeah, and four we uh, four meek stones. Yeah, four of so them. Wow. 
Yeah. It didn't actually... This is the first time I put played this deck um, mm -hmm. that I just kind of put together kind of quickly. I mean, the idea is just to try to get my Sarahs out there, because right, they don't tap. Yeah. Um, but I have to keep working on it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rich. Good All game. Right. Yep. Take care, man. Thanks for... Yeah, thanks have a good night. Games. I appreciate it. All right, take care. Got it. Yeah. Right, bye. Boom, boom, boom. All right, chat, we got there. We got on the board, so we are one and two on the day. So let's take a look again at what we are playing today. Red, blue, candle flare. It worked out that game. Um, worked out for that match. Uh, so the object is to get a mana flare on the table and uh, um, generate lots of mana and, and do redonkulous things. Um, didn't uh, actually do the redonkulous things. Uh, we made it so that our opponents took some mana burn, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and then Power Surge was dealing some, some damage as well uh, because of the fact that with, uh, with Mana Flare on the table, you don't have to tap as many lands. So you have lands untapped and take damage um, because you have untapped lands at the beginning of your turn. So let's take a look at what we had in our sideboard. Um, we didn't bring in a lot of sideboard cards today. That second row um, with the uh, Red Elemental Blast and the Shivan Dragon, those were the only five cards that I boarded in today. Uh, the four Red Elemental Blasts were against uh, Joe in his mono blue deck. The Shivan Dragon came in against the two aggressive decks that we played. So, uh, um, you know, uh, one and two. Uh, I like, I'm obviously I'm disappointed with how the deck performed. But, uh, you know, variance exists, it is a thing, and we do have to accept that when we play uh, Magic at all. So, um, we have just wrapped up our third round of three, so don't forget to follow me and join me each and every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for three rounds of Old School Magic. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be playing Paper Mirage Block Constructed here on the stream. Um, it is round number four, um, so uh, be sure to join me at 8 p.m. Eastern 5 p.m. Pacific for that. And then uh, at noon Eastern on Thursday, I'll be playing in the Seven Point Singleton League. It'll be match number four. That is noon Eastern, 6 Central European time for the month of April. None of the point cards are allowed in Seven Point Singleton, so the 30-plus cards that you see on, this, on your screen right now are not allowed in uh, um, the month of April. April so um, appreciate everybody who is here so uh, please uh, stick around for the raid I would appreciate it and so would the other streamer we're gonna bring you over to John likes game so with that thank you very much and I will see you next Tuesday